welcome to the next episode of Decans with D. I am your host this afternoon and I am Dietmar Ostermann and I'm the regular guy from Long Island. Today we are discussing the other big American great Zinfandel. Zinfandel was believed to be a purely American grape and it came and was discovered and planted in America over a hundred years ago, 1850s and beyond. But then in the 1960s there was some suspicion coming up that this grape in Italy called Primitivo in the uh, Puglia region, which is you look at the boot of Italy where the heel is down in that uh, very very hot and dry area that that grape is very similar to Zinfandel so the um, professors of uh, the wine business at the UC Davis analyzed the grapes and uh, later in the 1980s 1990s through DNA testing found out that indeed the vine varietal of Primitivo and Zinfandel is the same. To go further, the studies also found that there was back in the 1400s a grape in Croatia called Tribidra that has also the same DNA characteristics as Primitivo and Zinfandel. So the Zinfandel grape actually came from Croatia most likely via Italy to Boston, New York, into California. But in California, now it became up to new heights and today over 60% of the worldwide production of Zinfandel is done in the United States. Second to Italy, which has maybe plus or minus 20% of the Primitivo uh, production. So that's a little bit of the background and the story and Zinfandel is a bold wine, high alcohol, we are talking 15, 16, 17% alcohol, <laughs> big fruit, very little tannins on average, medium acidity, but the fruit is blackberry, blueberry, strawberry, really jammy. And that's why it's a wine of the moment, a great wine for barbecue and a wine that really because of the lack of tannins doesn't age very well and people are afraid that the fruitiness of this wine after five or ten years is not as great as consumed earlier. So the best time to drink a Zinfandel is probably within a five to seven year time frame. In the US it is the third or the fourth largest grape varietal after Chardonnay and Cabernet, about on par with the Merlot grape. And uh, specifically in America, we are planting the Zinfandel grape in the state of California. And there are multiple vine areas or regions in California. For instance, Lodi, which is east of Napa, south of Sacramento, a hot area in summer with also not just hot days but the warm evenings and nights is a big growing area for Zinfandel. You also have Napa Valley itself, Sonoma Valley and Paso Robles. And the wine can taste differently if it's grown in a very warm area like Lodi versus maybe a Sonoma County uh, Zinfandel or Paso Robles Zinfandel. They may be more in the red fruit area and not quite as jammy and the Lodi ones may be in, in blackberry and blueberry and Oops, too much excitement here. I crashed the glass and the, the Lodi ones because of the hot nights and the hot days and the warm nights has a powerful, powerful, powerful fruit palette. 
There's also a discussion, and you find it on the bottles often, of old vine Zinfandel. Well, that old vine is not protected, but typically we refer to older vines, vines that are 35, 50 years old. And indeed, as I mentioned, Zinfandel has been planted in California all the way back to the 1850s. You actually do have, in some of these vineyards, vine stock that is over 100 years old. And that is really what is referred to as old vine Zinfandel that makes uh, grapes that are strong, fewer grapes, but very strong, and that has that powerful, very powerful, um, juicy and jammy wine. Enough of the discussion, let's dive into those wines. Open the first bottle. This is a Primitivo. The name comes from the Latin word primus, which means first. So that means the wine is actually an early ripening wine. Let's pour some in. Primitivo San Marzano Anniversario 62. It's a dark wine, not see-through. A little bit of orange on the edges. Thick lines in the glass indicating high alcohol content and indeed this wine has 15.9 percent alcohol let's give it a sniffy sniff bright fruit baked blueberry i would say baked blueberry ladies and gentlemen a little bit of blackberry as well maybe some fig in the nose very flavorful profile. I would expect from a Primitivo that it's a little bit more old world character. So earthiness rather than just the punchy fruit in your face. Let's give it a whirl. Fruity, a little bit of acidity, good bite on the tongue. I like the wine in the four palate very juicy in the back palate the acidity comes through the finish is long acidity rich very interesting wine on vivino 4.3 san marzano reserva 62 aniversario a good example of primitivo second wine a legend from Napa Valley, the Rumbauer. I am a huge fan of Rumbauer Chardonnay. I'm pouring a little bit in the glass to shake out the glass. Okay. Let's check this baby out. The wine is not as dark as the San Marzano Primitivo. Uh, halfway see-through, a garnet red color, good looking, the lines in the glass ultra thick, slow moving viscosity, indicating high alcohol and again this wine is 15.9 percent alcohol. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. Blackberry Galore. Maybe a hint of boysenberry, ladies and gentlemen. Very rare. I also detect some dark cherry in here. Good fruity aroma. Let's give it a whirl. Powerful fruit. Slight acidity, uh, acidity. The fruit is in the fore palate and in the back palate. The finish is long. It is a little bit less balanced, interestingly enough, than the Primitivo was. Good wine. So I'm giving it a notch down from the Primitivo. 4.2 here, 4.0 for the Rombauer. The Rombauer average Vivino rating, 4.4. And ladies and gentlemen, $34.60 for this Rambauer. 
The Primitivo also was in the $40 area, depending on whether you bought a case, you could get it cheaper or individual bottles were a little bit more. Let's check out the last contender. I'm very interested in this one here. Never had it before. Old Ghost, Old Vine Zinfandel 2017 from the Lodi area. To shake out the glass. All right, here we go. Twenty seventeen, the rumba was twenty eighteen, and the primitivo was twenty seventeen as well. The color darker than the rumba, almost as dark as the primitivo. Thick lines in the glass, and indeed this wine to fifteen point nine percent alcohol. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. A little bit of dust in the nose. Rich red fruits. Cherry, red cherry. Also some blueberry. Maybe some uh, anise. Very interesting flavors. Can't get enough of this aroma. The anise is almost uh, like um, sucking me in. Let's give it a whirl. Beautiful. Blackberry, um, dark chocolate uh, in the mouth, blueberry, some raspberry, almost a little bit of uh, cigar smoke uh, mixed in with the dark chocolate and dried herbs. The finish, tick bitter, long finish, some acidity. I like it about the same as the Rumbauer. I give this one a 4.0, Rumbauer 4.0. And this little battle of the Zinfandels is won by the Primitivo San Marzano Anniversario 62. Ladies and gentlemen, if you do a barbecue in the summer, the powerful fruit of the Zinfandel will go well with your barbecued food or burger. Try it out. It's worth a try. And I recommend you also check out Primitivo from Italy. See you next Sunday.